Linux is one of the most important operating systems in the world. It powers servers, supercomputers, Android smartphones, and even embedded devices like routers and smart TVs. But where does Linux come from? To understand its origins, we need to take a journey back in time to the 1960s and talk about Unix, the operating system that inspired Linux and revolutionized computing. It all began in 1969, when Ken Thompson, Dennis Ritchie, and other researchers at AT&T's Bell Labs started working on an operating system for a small PDP-7 computer. This system, initially called Unix, a play on words inspired by Multics, a previous project, would become Unix. Unix was designed as a lightweight and efficient solution for managing time sharing between multiple users. The early versions were written in assembly language, but the turning point came when Dennis Ritchie developed the C programming language. In 1973, Unix was rewritten in C, making it one of the first portable operating systems. For the first time, an OS could be adapted to different machines without having to be rewritten from scratch, paving the way for widespread adoption. Unix's design was revolutionary. The hierarchical file system organized files in a logical and intuitive way. The shell allowed users to interact with the system using commands. The everything is a file. Principle treated hardware devices, processes, and even network connections as files, simplifying resource management. Unix was more than just an operating system. It was a philosophy, small programs that did one thing and did it well, a modular system that was easily extendable. During the 1970s, Unix began spreading beyond Bell Labs, particularly in universities and research centers. A key milestone was at the University of California, Berkeley, where developers created their own Unix variant, BSD, Berkeley Software Distribution. BSD introduced major innovations, including the TCP IP networking stack, which would become the foundation of the internet. Meanwhile, AT&T continued to develop its own Unix version, System 5, which became the reference for many companies. Unix's popularity exploded in the 1980s, with IBM, HP, Sun Microsystems, and other tech giants creating their own versions, optimized for their hardware. However, this proliferation led to fragmentation, with many incompatible Unix versions. The differences between System 5 and BSD resulted in the Unix wars. On one side was AT&T, allied with Sun Microsystems, and on the other was the Open Software Foundation, OSF which promoted an alternative Unix version. Meanwhile, the idea of standardizing Unix gained traction, leading to the single Unix specification, a set of guidelines ensuring interoperability between different Unix implementations. Despite its power, Unix had a major flaw. It was proprietary. AT&T controlled its development, and licensing costs were high and restrictive. This pushed researchers to look for alternatives. In 1983, Richard Stallman launched the new project, aiming to create a free operating system compatible with Unix. New successfully developed many essential tools, but one key component was missing, the kernel. In 1991, a young Finnish student named Linus Torvalds changed everything. He developed a new kernel, inspired by Unix, and released it as open source. Linux was born. Unlike Unix, Linux's source code was freely available to everyone. This attracted a global community of developers who quickly improved and expanded it. Linux combined Unix's technical excellence with the power of open collaboration. Today, Linux is the backbone of modern computing. It powers internet servers, the world's most powerful supercomputers, embedded devices, and Android smartphones. It stands as a symbol of open source, digital freedom, and global collaboration. Unix was the pioneer, the revolutionary system that transformed computing. Linux is its heir, the system that made those principles accessible to everyone. Together, Unix and Linux have shaped computing history, proving that great ideas never die. They evolve, spread, and continue to shape the future. This is the story of Unix and Linux, of how a series of technical and philosophical choices transformed the world. From a small Bell Labs experiment to an operating system that powers the entire internet, the journey of Unix and Linux proves that free software and great ideas can change the world.